That is my advice that I will tell you, and it came from the heart, and it's how I feel, and it's what I mean. <sighs> to share that took a lot of courage. Probably going to see it on LSF, but I said what I said. I said what I said, and I'm standing by it. Okay, so I restarted the entire computer. It looks like we're just totally tonight so forget it it's done well, i don't know i i feel very annoyed by this but it's always unfortunate like seriously i cannot tell you how much it sucks to have like first of all thank you for staying i really appreciate that i really do uh but we've we've lost like 1500 great viewers who were having a well maybe they were like finally i can leave this guy <laughs> Maybe they <laughs> maybe they were maybe they were just waiting for an escape. But um yeah, it looks like we're having some Twitch issues tonight. Uh, I don't know. I, I I restarted the PC just because maybe there was something internally. But uh Stardew Valley has crashed three times. Stardew Valley has crashed three times, unfortunately. And I guess that could mean something's just screwed up. We stay in full. We try. We try, don't we, Sam? Um, so I don't think it's an uninstallation thing because it worked for a while. I don't know what it is, but I don't want to try it again. And if I do, it would just be like, hey, if this doesn't work the next time, why don't we just end the stream? Like end it, end it, end it, end it, end it, end it. So, um, I, I've never played backpack battles, mm, but I might, I, or whatever, I don't even know what it's called. Is it backpack here? See, I don't even know the goddamn name. I don't even know the name of the game. Let's go to the store. It is called backpack battles. I was right. Uh, a PVP inventory management auto battler. Buy and craft powerful items, then carefully arrange them in your backpack. Hmm. There's also a game called... Is it? I don't want to battle, battle other players. I don't like auto bat. What's backpack heroes? Backpack hero. It's an inventory management rogue roguelike. Huh. It's way better than Balatro. Oh, come on. Come on. Balatro's amazing. Balatro's amazing. I'm really good at Balatro, too, which makes me feel awesome. That alone makes me want to play it all the time. Hmm. So, wow, Balatro sold 1 million units in one month. That's awesome. Good job. I've never really played an auto battler before. Uh, I've never played an auto battler other than like Ogre Battle, I guess. It's not that I don't want to play Stardew, I do. It keeps crashing. Balatro is like a poker roguelike 
game. That's it. I've never played TFT. Never. All right, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. I'll try one last time. Uh, this is the promise. I, I, I'm going to try... And to my surprise, I stumbled across what? a secret, huh? sexy Ooh. club. Ah. What's up, Loki Akai? How you doing, buddy? Hope you're doing good down south. Appreciate you. Genuinely. Hope you're having a fantastic night. It's very windy in Tokyo. I was super stunned. So here's what we're going to do. I already updated the game. I'm going to tell you straight up because uh, it possibly will break. Okay, Yukio Sage? I haven't been able to keep up with the streams, but at least I can celebrate three premier months. You're going to be caught up. Don't you worry. You haven't missed much. This is our fourth time playing the game. <laughs> it is our fourth time to try playing. Uh... If it works, awesome. If it breaks, uh, I'll tell you what. I'm going to go play a game by myself or go to bed. I'm not actually stressed. I'm just disappointed that it didn't didn't work for you guys. And I, I, I honestly think um, restarting a stream over and over and over sucks. It sucks because it does a lot of annoying shit analytically. And it sends out four notifications. <laughs> that I've been live four times in one day, which is just, that's a bit excessive. Um, but, hey, even if I end right now, we had five hours of fun. All right, so here we go. If I don't see you again, there's the Discord. I'll be updating that from my bathtub as I take a relaxing break. <laughs> but let's hope it works. Let's hope it works. I have a... B okay, that's bad. The game I... S Uh, okay. The, the game, when I started it, I started it in windowed mode. If the stream crashes, when is the next IRL stream? Saturday. Premier, wow. Saturday. I started it in windowed mode, and it goes like this. It goes, boom, 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 and it just slowly sinks, and then it went, it went off the monitor. Watch. Actually, if I push this button, it might just end everything. I'm just telling you right now. See you tomorrow. Maybe. Ah! Okay, we're still here. All right, we're still here. Watch, watch. Maybe. Ah! Where did it go? <laughs> so, okay. <laughs> I got you. Just wait, wait, wait here for a minute. No, 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 no. No. Okay. All I got to do is alt enter as it's going down. Okay. Maybe see you guys tomorrow. 
That's all we gotta do. Wait. Talk about Rizua's heavy game cap. I think it's gonna break when I go back to the full screen. We're still good. All I gotta do is load the game. Premier Prey. We good. Was rough okay it wasn't easy but we got the music louder please uh isn't the music like just right now good like aren't we like perfect i don't want to risk it but I, I and look you guys are on the chat screen that's an upgrade that is a huge upgrade. What a mess. All right, let's clear out our farm area. Let's clear out our farm area and start building out. We're not gonna do anything drastic. We're just gonna have some fun and mess with our hoe. I'm not, you, you missed the first five hours actually, Poke Casual. <laughs> This farm is under complete and utter, it's, it's a total mess, but, um, we're going to fix it. We're going to fix it up. And the focus of this particular playthrough is going to be a, a kind of a very fun return to animal husbandry. We're going to have some pigs. Oink, oink, oink. Bacon tastes good. Pork chops taste good. And we're going to have some, some crops. And that's it. That's the plan. Pete getting into his Kansas farmer life. Going to barbecue something up. Texas style, I hope. Why would I do Texas style when I'm from Kansas City? Hey, Texas style's good, but it's not close. Hey, Pete, looking forward to seeing you in the next cyclothon. You have no idea how excited I am. I, I'm more excited about the prospect of the boys getting on the bike, raising some money, having some laughs, bringing you guys along. The TTSs will be real. The jokes will be a flying. It's gonna be, it's good. Did we, okay, every time I see, oh no, I'm thinking it's frozen. I think it's gonna be a great experience. Am I gonna be riding with them? Or is the Van Gang returning? A little bit of both. I will be live streaming uh, my participation, but while we're sitting there raising some funds and having some fun, I'll be most of the initial days, I'll be with the Van Gang Gigakids. And then there are a couple of days where I get behind the wheel of a bicycle and we make that happen too. I'm not sure I'll be meeting Mr. Felix or PewDiePie. I'm not sure I'll be meeting up with Garnt on this particular run. Those are those are TBDs. Because we got a lot, we got like, it's a little bit of a mix of, of both going on, right? I keep finding cool stuff, but my backpack is full. Does this sound like, does this sound like you? Uh, 
Well, Pierre's got you covered. Stop by Pierre's General Store today and check out our affordable size 24 backpacks. See you soon. Be sure to farm these nuts. Thank you, Kiba. I appreciate you, boss man. Uh, hello there. Just got back from a fishing trip. You should come on down to the beach sometime. I got something for you. We're not going to be fishing a lot on this one, boys. So, yeah, it's going to be a very, very, very fun experience. And I'm, I'm hoping that you guys are going to dig it. Can you dig it? And I do, too. I love fishing. There we go. We had to we had to spend a little bit of time to to clear the way. A clean farm is a good farm. Even Leroy King knows that. And we also need enough to get a silo. Yes, uh -oh. I can dig it. Yay, stopped you. Yeah, I love this game. It's 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 a godlike game. One of the best ever made, in my humble opinion. Don't think we need the no, I think this is all good. It did work. We only had to restart the stream four times. <laughs> oh, yeah, foraging. That's always fun. You know, one of the things about this game that I would be interested to see is if they updated uh, a lot of the balance issues. Why well, I always felt like of the two choices, generally speaking, one was always significantly better. Oh, my God. Wait. Oh, my God. You're that new farmer boy, aren't you? Huh? Oh, I'm Haley. Mm, if it weren't for those horrendous clothes, you might actually be cute. Listen here, bitch. I don't give a shit what you think about old Leroy King. I've knee walk away. You turn right up those stairs and I don't give a shit. Your foul smell follows you all around this town. I'm not going to be talking to your dumb ass anyway. Hey, old Pierre, you see that bitch named Haley? She talks shit to me right to my face. Now I said, now just place anything you want to sell in the shipping box to the next to your house. <laughs> well, all right. Well, holy shit, what do we got here? A whole, a whole a happenstance group of women? <laughs> well, excuse me, don't mind if I introduce myself. Hello there, I'm Leroy King. Uh, my husband, Kent, is a soldier working overseas. That's why he's not here right now. Well, I didn't ask you about your goddamn husband. I just said my name was Leroy King, and I'm just introducing myself. Don't get all uppity with me. I was just trying to say hello. I know he'll come back safe once his tour is over. Well, let me tell you something. I served as well, and they don't always come with anyway. I hope he... Uh, <clears throat> How about you, ma'am? Ah, Mayor told me about you. Just, um, you just arrived. I'm Marnie. Well, hello there, Marnie. I think you have a uh, quite the distinct smell to you. I sell livestock and animal care products in my ranch. You should swing by sometime. Well, don't mind if I do. Might need to pick up my mane and tail over there. If you know what I'm saying. I've seen wild horse radish in the forest. The fuck are you talking about? God damn. Okay, good for you, crazy bitch. Oh, hey, I work part-time at Gus's Saloon. Pays the bills. Have you ever met anyone in town yet? This sounds exhausting. Well, you tell me about it. I'm sitting here slapping shit all over the farm. And what in the fuck is going on in here? Are you guys doing uh, yoga? Oh my God, you got stairmasters and dancers and jump ropers and what in the hell are you doing? Is that a weight? Oh my God, damn. Well, you can help me out on the farm, ladies, if you want to have something to do. All right, I'll go back to my farm now. Okay, so Jazzercise. Hmm. I found wild horseradish in the mountains. Okay. <laughs> the hell's this? It's locked. This is called Stardew Valley. This is a game that is, uh, it's a farming simulator, but it's oh so much more than that. It oozes with cho- Hey there, fella. Now I'll be honest. Hey, zombie fish. Wow, it's been three months already. Glad to catch a stream. I also love Stardew. Hope you and the chat have a fun. Now back to my thesis. Well, I appreciate that very much. Now you and I can get along here, Linus. Not a stranger. Hello. Hey there. 
Don't mind me. I just live out here alone. No, I respect that. Goodbye. Here. No, I'll give you something else. Have a, uh, a wild horseradish. Who the hell is this guy? Interesting. Uh, uh, greetings, I'm Demetrius, local scientist and father. Thanks for introducing yourself. I'm studying the local plants and animals from my home laboratory. Have you met my daughter, Maru? She's interested to meet you. Yeah, all right. I'll go and say hi to her if I have to know. Who in the hell is this depressed-looking son of a bitch? Hey there, you again. I haven't seen hair like that since I knew this fellow named Pete. He tried to grow it out. Oh, you just moved in, right? Cool. Out of all the places you could live, you chose Pelican Town? Well, Pelican Town chose me, I should say. My grandfather, you're not interested. You turned around already and you're already... What's down here? Oh, goddamn. What in the nerd shit? Hell, I can smell that room before I even look at it. I'm not interested. I'm out of here. All right. Here, have a, uh... This. That's a good find. I'm always happy when eating wild food. Thank you. <laughs> He's Bully McGuire. Uh, okay. Stay a while and pay me. Oh, we got lots of wild horseradish. Yeehaw. Don't mind if I do. Doesn't this also, like, restore health? Leaks, whatever. <laughs> These are leaks? God damn. I, there, yeah, you're right. It tells me at the bottom there. You're right. You're right. Good chickens. Okay. What in the hell? Let's go back and buy some... I think it's too late. I think I, I just missed it. That's the only downside is only oh, I, I need the coffee. The coffee that helps you run fast is just such a a boon. Yeah. Oh, there's easy money. Buying one leak at three times the market value. Please deliver directly to my hands. I will absolutely do that and make you happy, Pam. I will do everything in my god God damn it, it's too late to close the goddamn store. Oh wait, Pam, you're in here, right? Which one of you is Pam? Pam the Blam. No, I think she's the, the town drunk. She ain't here. She ain't interested in the... She's more interested in the finer things. I'll go give her a leak. Here there, loser. Oh, dude. The beach is a cool... Wait. He's like a jock, right? Hey, man. The beach is a hey, cool Pete, place to hang. You are the one thing that rays. is not annoying me today. GG. <laughs> That's always... Ah, damn it. Check the bar. That's always a rough start to a day. If I am the one thing that's not annoying you, that is in and of itself quite the uh, quite the day. Oh, so you saw the ad I posted. Thank you so much. Here's a little something for your trouble. Hundred. You did, did you give me enough money? Hey, Gus. Get me in the another round. Beer. It's expensive. Damn. It's expensive shit. Could you do an impression of an obnoxious Twitch streamer? Sure, but I can just call Nathan if you want. He's not that busy. He might be live in a few hours. I don't think we need to impersonate him. He might just be here. Ah, who am I kidding? He's not here. <laughs> that would require him to do something with his day. Let's 
So we need more chickens, right? We need more chickens, and we need some more stone. We need everything. So, all right. If we're focusing on animal husbandry, what is the initial stuff that we really need to do? We need a silo so we can collect all these uh, these blue things, right? That way we can we can harvest a lot of hay. This is the new farm type. Yeah, it's called the uh, Meadowlands. Give me the tree. I want cows. I want all the animals. That's it. That's what I called them when I was a kid. Oh my god, what are your chickens' names? Uh, right now it's... Well, I didn't actually choose. The, uh, their, their name... Well, coincidentally, one is named Potpourri, which is coincidentally my wife's... Former wife's old stage name at the, uh, well, let's not get into specifics. The other one is unfortunately named after my fourth wife, Anne. So, a real double whammy and a kick to the sticks. Let's check the, uh, the fortune teller. Knowing my luck, goddamn shit. Welcome back to Elric's Oracle. If you seek hidden knowledge of the future, well, you've come to the right place. The spirits are somewhat mildly perturbed today. Luck will not be in your favor. Go to bed. Level one foraging. Plus one axe proficiency. Trees sometimes drop seeds. And we got some new crafting recipes. Okay. I think this is the first day of the... Nope. It's raining today. So today we're gonna we're gonna bit ah shit, I forgot to close the gate. Hopefully my chickens didn't die. Hey! I'm out of space. Nice! Chimpkins! I need to uh, uh we can already getting eggs. All right, we can deal with that. I love farming in this game. I am winning today. I am winning big time. I had to restart the stream four times because of tech issues. But if you missed the beginning of the stream, it was awesome. Uh, we played a game called Hell Divers, and we played it with the buddies. Rob CD, Adex... And Kudokin joined me for a wonderful, wonderful experience of three hours of bug smashing and Terminator hunting. Yep, sorry about that. My voice was still on. I forgot about uh, some of that. We need to get a couple more chickens. Let's go see how much they cost, goddammit. Um, let's go Let's go down here and see how much we can get these chickens. Because we need four, right? Yeah, we need four. I really like Stardew. And I really like Helldivers too. The ground quakes. I would totally move that subscriber notification. Fuck, it's closed. Well, wait. We beat the automatons, yes, and it was fun. It was a great game. We didn't lose any of the rounds. Might as well forge a few more things here. Might as well grab a bunch of. Forging's, oh, you know, pretty busted in general. Nice little early game, stacking up stuff. Yeah, I think the bugs, the bugs are easier, and I think they're visually more satisfying to explode. But honestly, I enjoyed fighting the robots. I really did. I thought it was really cool. Did you have any actual experience with animal husbandry? I mean, I'm from the Midwest. I, I know a little bit here and there about a farm. But some of those automatons, they're fucking hard to fight. Eight hundred for a chicken? <laughs> All right. Looks like we're back to the drawing board. 
Let's go buy some bullshit. How do I, uh, check my... My quest log? I can't remember. The little blinking... No, no, I mean, it's on a controller. Ah! Ah! Need to build a silo. Scarecrow. Beach it up. And greet everybody. Okay, 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 okay. Looking for a handsome young man to bring me a large mouth bass. God damn it, close on Wednesdays. Do you think the success of Helldivers 2 is going to usher in... Do you in think the success of Helldivers 2 is going to usher in a wave of copycats? Lots of IP that could just have reskinned versions. Warhammer 40,000. Star Wars are just two that come to mind. I think it is a copycat. It is not a new type of game. But I, I don't... I honestly don't think so. You know what? Fuck it. I'm gonna name this Choose a Coop right here. What? How? How does it know that? It's my cat's name. I'll name it after my good friend Kleben Splurknerch. My cat's name is... We'll name this chicken Kluber. <laughs> uh, what's up, Dark Spriggan? The AI, the automatons... Okay, great. I'll send over little Kluber to her new home right away. Thank you. Kluber, uh, we'll have our, our cat named Koopa. Um, so, the... I think that, yes, you're going to run the risk of having it be a lot of games that are going to be a similar to Helldivers 2. But you know what? That game in and of itself isn't new. It's just fucking fun. And so many games these days come out that are all these, these copycats, and they're just not fun. What I like about Helldivers in particular is it does a really great job of of giving the weapons the right amount of feedback and and explosions and like all that good awesome just just feels right to play. And I haven't seen it yet be too difficult. So, I hope that we play that game a ton. I really do. I love it. I think on its surface level, though, it is kind of basic. But it looks like they're constantly updating it. I love the stratagems. That is a great idea. That was really clever of them to, to introduce them that way. I don't think I'm going to finish my Baldur's Gate 3 run. You know, you guys, you could definitely look me right in the face and say, Peter, you son of a bitch. You binned all the games, didn't you? And I'll say, yes, I did. But I didn't do it because I was trying to hurt anybody. <laughs> Actually, I kind of want to keep those trees there. They look nice. I, I loved Baldur's Gate. The thing I realized is that a lot of the time, I'm not good at these big ass playthroughs I talk too much I get too sidetracked I I get really just I, I I can't hold everybody's attention well so I think for those big games that I'm really looking forward to I have to accept it too I don't want to accept it but I think what I'm going to realize is is that I will play those games when they come out and how far I get in them might be a week, it might be two weeks, it might be three weeks. But hopefully you guys have fun when I play it and you guys can see whether or not you might like the game. That's, that's how I'm going to approach it going forward. Farm's going good. I decided on this particular farm, 
I'm going to be anti, uh, efficient. I'm just going to role play as if we actually got a farm together and we don't know what we're doing. And I think one of the things that I've liked about this channel is I've showed you guys a lot of cool games, or at least some of you guys have said that. And maybe we can enjoy it that way together. Look at this, look at this pretty little farm getting all nice and big for us. One of the games I'm super excited about just released a closed beta that has, um, it's called Auden Chronicles. And it is the single most anticipated game of the year for me, other than Metal Slug Tactics. It is so, I am so excited about it. It's a spiritual successor to a game called Ginso Suikoden, which was my favorite game of, of my favorite RPG of all time. Unfortunately, the creator of the game, Murayama-san, died like three weeks ago as he finished the game. Um, I played about four or five minutes of the beta, enough to know that it's going to be absolutely amazing. So get ready for that game because we will 100% uh, finish that on stream. 100%. I'm super excited about Dragon's Dogma. I have a pawn I'm working on so that if you guys wanted to bring me along on your adventures, get ready. Yo, Pete, I've returned to the stream after six months without doing so, and you're playing my favorite game. No wonder why every time I come back to your channel, the community is bigger and nicer than ever. Keep it going, man. Don't you ever feel pressured and do your thing. It's working like a charm. As long as we can get away from the game constantly breaking, yes, I agree with you. <laughs> that sucked shit really bad today. And I want to change, like, the alert notifications right now. I want to change it so text-to-speech is on for resubs, but I'm afraid to do anything in fear of it breaking. So you're going to... I'll read all the messages. For example, hey, man! Mother! Glad I was able to check in for one of my favorite games. Glad to see everything seems well. Keep up the good work, man. How you doing, Baz? Thank you very much for the kind words. I'm glad that you're here. Hope you're having a great day. Great start to your week. And to my surprise, I stumbled Whoa. across Max. a secret bodyguard club. Thanks, buddy. I appreciate you. Uh, at any time we do an IRL meetup, Max is officially known as my bodyguard. He, if you want to start some trouble, you got to go through him first. <laughs> Looking forward to seeing you at pre I almost said <laughs> Premier Con, but I almost called it what Nathan calls it, which is, don't you mean Prick Con? Which is extremely annoying. Nathan is uh, supposed to be helping the channel, not hurting it, but he always calls it Prick Con. Do I still have the original Sukaden games? I do. It's uh, one of my very few pride and like possessions. I brought Sukaden 2 and Ginso Sukaden with me to Japan. It is the only two PlayStation games that I have kept my entire life. And uh, also when I came to Japan originally, maybe 20 years ago, I was at a, uh, they, they re-released the game in Japanese only on the PSP as like a double feature. Still have that disc in back in America as well. I did get my hand on Auden Chronicles, and I played the closed beta. Guys, it looks so good. I cannot wait to play it. I am... That'll be 100% a... We're not turning this game off until we beat it event. Where you guys might see... Uh, wait, I want to sell... Nothing. I think we're good. We have we have the three chickens. I like how our farm is turning out. I'll buy some seeds tomorrow. Yeah. Excuse me. I'm so sorry. Bless me. Or you don't have to, but sorry about the sneeze there. What would you say has been your most disappointing game? On stream or off? Cause I have some, I have some hot takes. 
Thank you guys. Sorry about that. Both? Either? Welcome to Living Off the Land. We're back again with another tip for y'all. Now listen up. This one's for all you folks living out in Stardew Valley. Check for spring onions southwest of town, where the river meets the ocean. You can sometimes find a whole bunch growing right out of the dirt. <laughs> Oh, uh, stupid. That's so stupid. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Uh, where's my chimkins? Hey, guys. Kluber. Um, the most disappointing game that I can remember in recent memory that I genuinely was like... Like legitimately hurt by was Mass Effect 3. And Gart and I, uh, we agreed to disagree, which is totally fine. <laughs> he loves that game. I think it was the biggest disappointment in video gaming history for me. I was so excited for it. I have such an immense amount of respect for the game in general. And it really, it really sucked. Really sucked bad. Um, well, it was okay. It wasn't that it was, it was just, yeah. The other one, let me think, on stream, what would be a, a, a frustrating game on stream that we had? Was there anything that we played as a group that we thought we were really looking forward to and just didn't pan out? That is a good question. No, FF7 was good. It broke. I liked it. Sixteen was good. I think it was that was a, a tough streaming game for me, but I liked it. I love Tekken 8. I love Street Fighter 6 as well. I think, let me think. All right, let me, let me think for a second. Um, Lies of P was good. Tales of Arise was good. I, I did not, I got, I mean, I did finish Final Fantasy VII Remake. Technically, I didn't. I've played this game a ton. Yeah, this is not my first farm, but I'm not being efficient. I'm just having fun with the game. I'm just taking it super slow and being goofy with it. Um, it, 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 br my PlayStation 5 bricked on the last, on the last, uh, moment. Oh my God, aren't you the one that just moved in? I'm Maru. I've been looking forward to meeting you. Listen, I don't give a shit if you've been looking forward to meeting me. You never want to meet your heroes. You're going to be awfully disappointed. You know, with a small town like this, a new face can really alter the community dynamic. It's exciting. Thank you, Slick Righteous. You made the only good goddamn decision I've seen someone make today. Resubscribing. Thank you for doing that for six months. All right, let's see. Beans. Maybe we just get beans. <laughs> Let's just wait. Six. No, I need to get. No, fuck. I don't got no money. I don't got no goddamn money. Uh, wait. Hey, thank you, Blizzy Lizzy. Uh, Overwatch? I No, no, no. Okay, wait. I like Overwatch. I don't think it's a good stream game. It was the very first game I ever streamed, actually, back when I had my my PlayStation Cam, iCam. Yeah, the zoom out is crazy far, right? I'm so used to playing it on like PlayStation, but I kind of like it. I'm digging it. Damn, I don't think we've had that many disappointing games. I'm pretty selective about what I stream. So, generally speaking, if I do play it, I, 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 I'm I pretty excited about the game. 
I don't think we've ever had like a bad one. Yeah, I know you can adjust the zoom. I like this far away one though. It's fun. It's cute. Kawaii ne. Kawaii. Well, I certainly thought we were going to be farming a whole lot more shit than we did. Let's go forward some goddamn shit. This is the new update. This is 1.6. We're doing the Meadowlands farm. It's the all new, the all new farm type. Conversely, what game have you had the lowest expectations going into, but ended up really enjoying? Helldivers 2. I honestly was pretty, pretty nervous about that game. I didn't think it would be very good. I thought, I honestly thought it would be kind of bad. My main fear with Helldivers 2 was that it was, I thought, it was going to be just like the same shit we play all the time. Which is like Halo, that we've been doing in like Halo, Firefight, ODST, boring. I just thought it was going to be like, I've played this 25,000 times. And I was wrong. It's a really fun game. I was, I was, I wasn't like, I, I thought it was just gonna be average. And it was above average. Really fun. Uh, another game that I was, I think, Lies of P, I thought was gonna be average. And it ended up being very good, or at least fun. I had pretty low expectations for, um, oh shit, there's one, there, yeah, get those, get those, yeah, get those leeks, spring onions, yep, 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 fire, fire, fire. I remember one of the old people likes spring onions. Dredge, oh, well, I had, I had no expectations about Dredge. I was just kind of like, hope this game is fun. That was awesome. This is a really nice gift, thank you. Hello, it's nice to meet you. Yeah, I remember you, I, I, my friend Pete told me about about you. You you, you married. Uh, he he fell in love with you in his original playthrough. You're an artistic type, so you're always painting and doing your own shit. He respected that the hell out of that. That was great shit. All right, let's walk into this house. Uh, Dave the diver was awesome. Oh, this is stranger. My name's Vincent. Mama says that the doctor's strangers, but you usually okay. Oh, hey, I'm Sam. Good to meet you. <laughs> Here, kid. Have a goddamn onion. This is very fun. <laughs> Actually, the the only part of Dredge that I didn't like was the the third island. Um, ah oh my, where will I put this? I knew it. It was the other old. It was the old man who likes them. So you're a farmer, huh? Interesting. I've never met a farmer before. Hmm, I wonder if I can get Pierre to cook dinner tonight. Doubtful. Wait. Now I said, now I said the saloon can get pretty lively at night. Sometimes we even put a coin in that tad jukebox. <laughs> yeah, I like to visit once a week or so to catch up on things anywhere. Nice. Lethal Company was a fun surprise. Here you go, boss man. I brought you an onion. What? That's a goddamn terrible gift. I thought... Whew. Maybe it's the leaks that he likes. Whoops. Hi, welcome to Joja Mart. How are you doing today? Paul Allen's business card. I don't believe we've met. I'm more Here's the money. Joja, that's a huge this alert. This message has been brought to you by Joja Mart. <laughs> Try our delicious and refreshing Joja Cola. Now with 3x more aspartame for a sweet blast. I love it. Bring on. He looks like me, goddammit. It's the same guy. 
Shit. Those, thank you for the 10 bucks, buddy. Appreciate that. I don't believe we've met. I'm Morris, JoJo Customer Satisfaction Representative. When you decide you want to become a JoJo member, I'll be delighted to help make your transition a joyous experience. Welcome to JoJo Mart. We're in the process of setting up a brand new membership system for our customers. Come back later. Yeah, better than old Pete's Mart. Look, there's Shane. Shane's hot at work. He doesn't seem interested. Fuck this, then. Look at this soulless corporation. Blech. Ghostbusters. Well, I had one too many caramel porters at the saloon last night. Go away. Go fuck yourself. No, I like you. You got a bit of moxie to you. No, I like that a lot. Now, I know you don't like the look of me right now, but we, we can get to know each other later. Who have I not met? I've met 23 of 28 people. If I can make it down to the beach before five, we do get a little bonus there. Uh, I did hear about the rebirth tour. I really want to go. Oh, sweet. Ahoy there, son. Heard there was a newcomer in town. Good to finally meet you. Well, I'm still trying to unwind from a month out on the salty seas. It was a big haul. Sold a lot of good fish. Finally saved enough to buy me a new rod. Here, I want you to have my old fishing rod. It's an important to me that the art of fishing stays alive. And hey, maybe you'll buy something from the shop once in a while now. You received the bamboo pole. There's a good water here in the valley. All kinds of fish. The ground quakes. This is my cat, Pupo. He's my best friend. He, um, he's a, uh, he's a Tokyo street cat. He's a Tokyo street cat and he, um, he, uh, whoops. Uh, this is my cat, Koopa. He's a Tokyo street cat and we rescued him five or six years ago. And the saddest thing for me, I mean, it makes me happy, but he, uh, the thing that I always feel bad is that it takes me forever to notice, but he's sitting outside my soundproof door and he's scratching. 
He's scratching the door so that he can come in and spend time with me. And I always wonder, I hope he wasn't waiting a long time. I'm sorry, buddy. Little guy. And sometimes he'll wait out there for two or three hours. Well, the cat door would ruin the idea. Thank you, guys. A couple of new subscribers in there. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mad. I didn't mean to. He's a good boy. And so, uh, usually at night and during the day lately, he's he spends a lot of time with us, especially me. Like, um, he he loves to sleep and hang out with me during the mornings. And then we got pretty lucky with this this tiny. What are you looking for, buddy? What are you looking for? We got the we have like a heated floor on one part of our kitchen because the previous owners of this apartment, one of the, the people who lived here was very old. They were like in their eight, late 80s or 90s. And they had a heated floor installed because she always sat on the floor under like the kotatsu and stuff. I know you guys think I'm a Tory, I understand. But Kupo, he loves it. Good boy, Kupo. So in the mornings, I turn it on for him, and he's just chilling. Yeah, maybe I'll get him a little cam. Oh, thanks, buddy. Nice kiss. Kupo. 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 <laughs> but it's it's fun to uh every day just hang out with him. I bother him way too much. I'm constantly like checking where he's at and I'm I'm always like petting him and, and just telling him I, I love him. And we almost adopted, we're looking at adopting another another cat. But, you know, Koopa's going to get all jealous. That doesn't mean you're not my favorite, buddy. But we can help more cats, too. You could have, like, a brother or sister. It's time for you to lead. Here, let me see if you guys can hear his guru guru. Nyang, nyang. Ah, welcome to the Nanyang Club, buddy. Thank you very much, mobster. Leia is best girl, no cap. Could be. Engine running pretty good. Ow, 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 ow. Don't look at me like that. I knew it. Don't give me the side eye and then just look away. But you have too much loose hair. We brush you all the time, dude. 
Koopo, do you like Stardew Valley? <laughs> what? Why is your tail going all over the place? What? I'm just scratching. The ground quakes. Thank you, giant friendly crab. What are you doing, man? You're gonna meow soon. I know, I know. You have, ow. What? What do you want, man? You're gonna have to figure out what you want. Tell me. <laughs> Can I play my game now, Koopo? 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 <laughs> Don't do that. Don't say that. The problem is, is that Koopo is comfy. Yes. Do you know who's not comfy? Me. <laughs> I can't move. Hey Pete, are you gonna eat that donut? <laughs> no, it's Yuki's. That's Yuki's donut. I gotta put it back on the table. All right, buddy. I love you too, Koopo. You're very cute. You're very smart. He has a little nub tail, yeah. Little bob tail. All right, buddy, it's time to go. That's enough. All right, Koopo. All right. Say no. <laughs> Come on. Say no. 
Don't say that. Don't cry. No. That makes me sad. Say no. Good ball. <laughs> hey, no. I'm falling down. Hey, Koopa. So cute. Look how cool you are. You're so cute. Yeah. He's the best. <laughs> the only problem is, is, uh, oh shit. We're back. I'll also buy anything you catch. If it smells, it sells. Uh, whoo. He left. He left. He left. Yeah, that was fun. Obviously, I love Kupo very much. He is my he is my best friend. And we spend a lot of, we spend an inordinate amount of time level uh, together. I like it, but I, I, of course I like it when he spends time with me. I think the only thing I, I, I've been trying to teach him lately <laughs> is like, can we have another s situation where he like, lately he's been getting better at sitting next to me while I've been playing games on the couch. Like he'll usually sit on the arm and now he's been slowly moving closer breaks. and closer and closer and closer. 
So now he'll lay like right next to me and I can just pet him while I'm walking around Final Fantasy or whatever. We're very lucky to have a library. Such a small town. Little guy obliterated my back. He sure did. He didn't care about anything. Oh my God, I decided I'm going to organize my clothes today. I'll have to throw out all of last year's styles to make room for the new ones. Little guy's around seven, seven years old. So yeah, Cortex, there's a brand new update called uh, 1.6, and it's probably the biggest update that the game has ever had. Not even probably, certainly. Well, excuse me, Pillywagger. Thank you for coming in here. And if I missed your guys' notification while you while I was talking with little Kupo-chan, my apologies. Thank you for the resubscribes. Thank you for coming in hot and supporting this channel. I really appreciate it. Um, I feel like we've really hit a good stride lately with content. We're collabing with some great people. We're bringing back IRL. We've got Pete's Pito Craft. We've got um, Pete Quest and Places Pete Loves. We've got good games, good vibes. All of it's just really, really, what in the hell's down here? Has been good. But yeah, there's a huge new, this is the new farm layout called the Meadowlands. Ooh, spooky. I like that they changed the location of uh, of this one. Right now, we're just doing general farm upkeep. Rebirth is not going to happen on the channel. I, I hate to be the bearer of bad news if you were looking forward to it. I think uh, I've, I've mentioned this a couple of... I, I should probably add a chat command. The I, I want to tell you, first of all, it's an amazing game. So if you were if you were waiting to for whatever reason to hear about did I like it or anything like that, I think it's absolutely freaking amazing. I've played about I'm on chapter two, so <laughs> I'm not I'm not very far. I'm quite slow at the game, but I think it's nothing short of a a masterpiece already, and I know I'm going to absolutely love it. I am so excited about it. The reason why I'm not is I, I genuinely think it would take me too long to beat the game on stream. And the other thing I realized while playing it, I'm so in love with the game that I'm sitting there and my mouth will just be hanging open for hours. And I... I don't want to tell you guys about the intro or the demo, but it's so fucking good. I spent so much time just spinning the camera around and I'm assessing every monster and I'm just, I'm just so happy to be back with these characters. And I know that you guys would enjoy seeing me enthusiastic about that stuff, but let's be real. I would never finish the fucking game. <laughs> It would take me way too long, and I I feel bad for the people who don't have... This is, We're talking about Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. Where maybe there are some people who don't have a lot of time, and they're, or maybe they're saving it for themselves. And I talked to some friends who played it, and they were like, yeah, it's massive. It's huge. It's so goddamn big. Can I sit in my chair? Nope. Level one mining, plus one pickaxe proficiency, and I can craft a ch ch ch, -ch cherry bomb. Any chance some of the games you play off stream could be recorded and uploaded to the YouTube channel? Um, well, I don't really play games off stream anymore. A couple of times I've played Balatro or a little bit of World of Warcraft or, or something like that, but I would say it's exceedingly rare for me to play games off Robin here. I know there's a lot of stones scattered around your farm. If you have a surplus, you might consider having me build a well for you. Wells can be placed all over your farm and serve as convenient places to refill your watering can. 
Swing by my shop with 75 stones and a thousand gold when you're ready for it. A thousand gold? Not that much because a beer is 400. To our valued Jojimart customers, our team members have removed the landslide caused by our drilling operation near the mountain lake. I'd like to remind you that our drilling operation is entirely legal pursuant to Lunit L61091 Georgia Co. Amendment. Responsible stewardship of the local environment is our top priority. We apologize for any inconvenience this accident may have caused. As always, we value your continued support and patronage. Back off, you prick. Bastard. There we go. Now look at my little chickens. There they are, little chicka 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 chicka. I love ya. Where's the other one? Where's the th Where's the third weirdo chicken? He's still in the house. God damn it. <laughs> mm. Now you're out. Enjoy eating. All right, so we've got 200 schmucks. Saving up the rest of my uh, moolah. And we need to see how much the silo costs. Even though it's not terribly important, I think it would be prudent to, to set up the, um, the farm. Ooh, sweet, skeletal hand. Because when the winter hits, which we're probably never even gonna get to on this stream, I hope we do. We can we can throw down a little uh, little bonus. Ah, lost book. You found the lost book. The library's collection has expanded. Nine a.m. Al. Now pick me two, pal. Gotta visit Gunther. I don't think there's anything over here, but I'm just gonna I'm just gonna check it out anyway because we got some time to kill. I don't think the new farm is OP at all. No, I think it's a uh, pretty standard, right? I mean, it doesn't look to be that good. I think one of the benefits of the new farm is, I I, I mean, I don't know, is animal husbandry? Is it ever been? It, it, it gives you a a special blue hay that animals like to eat. And that's, oh, wait. Oh, abysmal. Uh, not, now say when, now, I'm your huckleberry, not a single piece in the entire collection. Now, I want to know who ate my glizzies. Oh, what's that? You found something? Let me see. Wow, Ringo, you look like you just stepped over, the ghost stepped over your grave. Or whatever. Ah, remarkable. It's very old. I'd love to study this in a greater detail, but it is your... Hmm. I've got a favor to ask you. Would you consider donating any artifacts or minerals that you find? We could make a groundbreaking discovery together. Oh, and who knows, if you keep donating, I might come across some interesting items and send them your way. You know, think about it now, will you? If you decide to donate, just bring the objects to the front desk and say when. I use OBS. What's up, Mikas? How you doing, buddy? The skeletal hand we'll put in the back corner. <laughs> uh, there should be a few more spots. I think there's like two, 10 or 11 spots left of Premier Con. Jump in that Discord and make your name and uh, get yourself in there because it's running out of space. And we're gonna be we're gonna be hooting, we're gonna be hollering, we're gonna be having some fun, and it's gonna be. If you want a chance to hang out and get uh, a few alcoholic beverages with us, 
this is your chance. And it's gonna be what I would hope to be an awesome night. I have no doubt. Wait a minute. Reach farming level one and craft a scarecrow. All right. And uh, what is this? Build a silo. I'm missing four people I haven't greeted yet. There's not a premier con section in the Discord. Uh, that would be that would be that would be wise. Do you know how many spots are left, Nathan? I'm gonna say about twenty. Two thousand and twenty one. So we have plenty of space. Everybody can join. <laughs> I came back, Rocket Man. I won't let this... I'm not going to let the excitement of 1.6 deny me my fun. All right. I want to construct a, a silo. All right. We need 10 clay. Clay. Bill clay. And we need a... Uh, God damn it. That costs a lot of money. Whoever did milling and rice and all this stuff. Hmm. Oh. Oh, yeah, the stable. No, I meant like, in this game, is it very, is it a cost-effective way of, like, making money? <laughs> I don't know. Why don't we try it? We'll have, we'll have animals and, uh... and a mill. <laughs> what a unique little farm we'll have. Okay, let's take a look at what we've got here. So we don't need the, I mean, we might use the, we don't need the hoe. And I want to change the color, oops, of the box. So for farming equipment, we'll make it green. Okay. So we just need, uh, we need, we need bronze. And the only, I think the layout of this place is awesome. It looks like there's a lot of farming space over here. It seems way better bigger than the, the normal farms, doesn't it? Or maybe I just haven't played the game in a while. This seems enormous. Are they all that big? Seems the same, but it has a few rivers. Yeah, I, I'm curious because I, I don't think, generally speaking, raising the, the animal stuff is usually not a very effective way of making cash. Like, it doesn't really move the needle because there's a limitation to how many, how many different animals you can have on the farm, and it's just, it's so much more cost effective to do crops. And they automate all of the crops really well because you get like the sprinklers and all that stuff and you just you plant them once at the beginning and then you just just make loads and loads and loads and loads of cash pig truffles are good yeah i remember having some of those and milking the cows and stuff but it always just eventually it just seemed like you know and also you lose all of your wait no is there any month where they don't like winter you can't grow any crops right Goat cheese? Maybe a lot's changed since um, since I played the game last. I'm looking forward to it. That's one of the things I'm looking forward to is figuring out all the new the new stuff to try. So yeah. I wonder if this what's so special about this uh, this blue grass.
I know that this is that animals like to eat it. But maybe we can figure out if it has any other special qualities. Like maybe it makes all of your maybe it makes a lot of like your your eggs or your other stuff better. It's that chewy bluegrass. Hey, what's up, Atomic? How you doing, man? How's your streams been going, dude? Sup, homie? You, the only sad thing about Atomic Art is that he's never played Stardew Valley. In fact, not only has he never played it, he openly starts his stream every single time saying how much he hates the game. It's weird. I don't know why you hate this game. I'm just kidding. <laughs> he, he does not do that. I'm just joking. <laughs> the power of, uh, I just can turn everyone against you immediately. I drew startup stuff on stream yesterday. Oh, yeah. I, I had the wrong guy. Sorry, my mistake. I got them confused. <laughs> no, I think you even have the... Don't you even have, like, the cookbooks or, like, some sort of art hanging up in your house? I'm a tastemaker. I can just I can just ruin it all. I thought you, when I visited your house for your, your surprise birthday, I remember your, your, your lovely wife had some of, like, some Stardew stuff. Cookbook comes out in May. What an amazing game. I have the hand-drawn guides. I have art hanging up. I have the board game. Okay, now you're just leaning into it a little too much. All right. Now I just feel like you're just... You made up at least two-thirds of that to, like, to counter it. <laughs> For those of you who don't know, Atomic Art is one of my good, good, good friends from college. And he's a bit of a board game maker himself. Like, uh, he made a game called Sentinels of the Multiverse. And quite honestly, I'm a little biased. One of the best games ever made. Specifically, one of the characters in it. <laughs> Which is me. I'm the character. I'm the one that I really like. So, please go check him out. Yes, it's and he did that way before any of this stuff, like when before streaming and all that stuff. Uh, you made that game back almost, what, um, maybe 11, 12 years ago now? And you've had a tremendous amount of success and really talented people uh, be a part of it. Setback is the best boy. It is known. 2011 was the release. My God. That's crazy. It's right when I moved here. You drew setback the other day. Oh, what'd you do? Draw setback on the farm? Is that what you did? Uh-huh. I know I say this every time Sentinels is mentioned, but it is an amazing game. Well, there you go. Let that feed your ego, Mr. Atomic Art. You know, there are very few games that... Oh, my God. If you wanted me to, to like, stay awake and stream, Darkest Dungeon, Stardew Valley... Um, what are the other... There's a couple of other games that I could just... I, Ooh. That just make me want to stay up late. Balatro, I was a bit sad that you guys universally hated it today. <laughs> the new update's pretty cool. Uh, I know you guys didn't hate it, but we've played a lot of Balatro. We've played a lot lately. I, I'm not. I was joking. Um, Darkest Dungeon, this game, Vampire Survivors, Balatro, um, all kinds of stuff. Like, it, it, those games make me just want to stay up. Like, right now, it's nearly 2 a.m. And I could just, I could just keep going all day because of how much, how much I just enjoy the, the gameplay loop. And talking. I did go through a pretty big Terraria phase when it was on the Xbox 360. Like, I loved it. All right, let's get some money. Let's see what we made here. Well, we made jack shit. 
We suck. This is... <laughs> Saturday? I feel like something's wrong with the game. Shop smart. Shop S smart. Starbound. I've heard of that game. Ah, uh, was it made by the same people? Yeah, the thing about... You know what's weird about Terraria? Oh, Kluber grew, grew up. Is that... The thing about Terraria that's tough is, like, I don't know how I... Uh, the controls really suck now. To me. Like, I used to really dig how it controlled, but now I play it and I'm like, what in the hell am I doing? How did this happen? How you doing, Waffle Smacker? Did you enjoy the wind today in the big city? It is, it is awfully windy out there. A rice shoot? Is it spring right now? Cool. How you doing, Sick Panda? This game is very relaxing. This is one of the goats of all goat games. I love it. It's fantastical. All right, Raxillian, have a great night, dude. Or day. So I will be back tomorrow. All I've got to do tomorrow is two things. I got to wake up, and as soon as I drag my ass out of bed, I got to splash some water on my face, go to the gym, and get on the bicycle, and do the bare minimum of calories, which is 800 active calories a day. That's it. I just got to do that. If I can manage to do that in a timely manner, I will I will immediately get online early. 800 active calories. So it's like a little bit different. So it's like, that's the goal. Show up, kick ass, take names, schmoove and groove, have some fun with it. Enjoy your day off. The school. Happy to hear that. Here's the guy I wanted to talk to. Hmm. I was just peering down into this old mine shaft. It's been abandoned for decades. Still, there's probably good ore down there. But a dark place, undisturbed for so long, I'm afraid ore isn't the only thing you'll find. Here, take this. You might need it. Rest the sword. Name's Marlin, by the way. I run the Adventurer's Guild right outside. I'll keep my eye on you. Prove yourself. And I might think about making you a member. Nice who? What the fuck was that? Forgot about that guy. All right, we need some copper ore. I forgot what copper ore looks like. Okay. It's not that. Ah, oh, there it is. God, this game's amazing. Geodes. Uh, we're... You found a geode. The local blacksmith can break it open for you. Who knows what might be hidden inside? I do have an air fryer. Do you recommend I use it for cooking up something delicious? Why? Tell me why. Look at this, we got a nice little, uh, emits a small light. That's nice. Doesn't it feel good when we find cool things, guys? <laughs> oh, it's a meme question? Well, I'm the guy to ask for your 
your annoying meme questions. Oh my god, die! Okay. Well, this didn't work out well. I, I was just trying to find, uh, I just, just, I need five copper. I need five copper and we're good. Because I want to get our silo. I also need to talk to, um, how many do we got now? We got five. Hey, cave carrots. Cage cleaners. Nice. Forgot what I was going to tell you guys. There was something else. Uh, but yeah, basically tomorrow is is the the start of a great, great stream. Friday, I'll be back at it again. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to make it to the Ardidly event. And then Saturday, we've got an IRL stream. So look at that. You thought you hadn't seen Pete in a while and you were like, damn, that guy just sunsetted. He's done. He doesn't even stream anymore. He just gave up. He had one sniff of Hell Divers and said, I'm good. You got me like a bunch of days in a row now. Though I do need to go to the dentist very bad. I'm having a bit of a uh, medical issue. It's not good. It's going to suck. It's boo. Who in the bloody hell is Pete? Fair. Where's the gold? A medical issue. Ooh, another Chill ring. streams with Pete. I got my hot cup of tea. Good. I'm happy for you. Uh, did I, did I stream last Saturday, guys? I actually think I did a weird thing where I took, like, two days off. Twice in a row. I can't remember anymore. Time loses meaning. Will you play SV again? I don't know what that means. <laughs> what is SV? Uh, I'm going to guess it. Um, supermarket VR. Zivulator. You street vider. You are now free to move around the country. Soul Valibur. Sekivo. Sark voles. Carrot seeds. Oh, Stardew Valley. <laughs> Dude, what? that did not make any sense to ask me when I'm playing it. That doesn't make any sense. Any reasonable person would be confused by that. That makes no sense. I would not even like, why? Like, what? If I'm in the middle of Stardew Valley, of course I'm going to play it again. Here's an onion, dude. <laughs> oh, that's a good find. I'm always happy when eating wild food. Uh, I did get to Chapter 2 in, in Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. It is absolutely fucking amazing. It is so goddamn good. Sword of Varcraft. <laughs> uh, Swirled. I think Sword of Varcraft is even better. The further we can get from the actual name, but still connect it. I wish you would let me tell you one thing. No, I don't want to know a goddamn thing. Not a thing. I don't want to. I don't want to talk to anybody about it. I don't want to hear anything about it. I don't give a damn. Isn't that annoying? Aren't I just super annoying? Uh, it's carrot seeds. Cage cleaner? Why the fuck do I have a carrot? I don't own a, a gun, let alone enough to necessitate an entire rack. I do like carrots. Yeah, I played Terraria mostly solo, and then the cool thing about it is, you kind of... Welcome! Alright, wait. Where's this... Carrots. 
Dehydrator? Wow! That's cool. Beans! Kinda wanna get some, some beans. But we're already on Saturday, day six, which means we only get like, grows on a trellis. That'll do. Beans, beans. No, you get, you get, you get multiple harvests. Uh, whose birthday is it? Only 11 months? Why does it feel like more and less at the same time? Now that's a question that I can't answer. He's not a Confederate soldier. <laughs> One thing I never understood about this game is how come the museum guy is a Confederate soldier? Th there is... <laughs> He's he's uh he is a southerner, but he's he's nowhere near a Confederate soldier. <laughs> he's just a dude. He's a re he's not a reenactor. God damn it. <laughs> he's just uh he's he's um what is he? It's not that. Okay, wait. I wanted to do like this. I wanted to show you guys. Wait, wait, wait. Three, four, five, six. Wait. This is going to look cool. Everybody's going to say, damn, Pete, your farms are so cool. I love you, Pete. Mm. <laughs> I'm, I'm hopeful. Yep. Yep. That looks cool as fuck. The ground quakes. <laughs> All right. Some okay. Uh, not as cool as I was hoping. I take that a lot. That. Uh, a little disappointing. Um, yeah, that's just, that ain't gonna really move the needle. But, uh, it'll have to do, I suppose. I didn't mean to do that. Okay. It just, yeah, this looks stupid. And I know, I already can tell you, I'm going to run out of water because I screwed up that one right there. Watch. I'm out. I knew it! Because I missed one water spot. I wasted it up at the top. I knew that would happen. I knew it. Damn it. That is because I tried to refill it with, like, the dog bowl. Stupid, stupid water. It's relaxing until you get upset. <laughs> okay, so let me see here. Um, all right, let's do an inventory check of what we got. Because love is... Is what I got. Whoops. Uh, all right. We can make... What's this shitter? Field snack, acorn, pine corn, maple seed. Nice. Uh, wild seeds. Mm hmm. An assortment of wild spring seeds. Well, that's cool. Wait a minute. Can I plant those for like random crops?
Well, shit. Or does it... Let's figure it out. Let's figure it out. All right, now hold on. What we need here, what we're doing here is, is called classic reorganizational methods. So on this one, you put all your stones and, and equipment. All right? Like uh, this guy, this guy, uh, maybe some of this, some wood, some copper, some geodes. And you leave all this, gar and your tools, and you leave all this other shit in there. And then you go... Put your stones in there. Put your put your other shit. Grab your axe and your sword and your dinghy and your hoe. Yeah, let's start building some hurting bombs. And then right near the Tie Fighter. Wrong. We're gonna run out of time though, aren't we? I just need more time. What? Well, hold on now. I've never used wild seeds before. This will be fun. That was a fun day. Very proud of this progress we've been making. How long did I... Shiitake mushrooms. Uh, hold on. Don't worry about your OCD. It's going to look good. Uh, how long have I teached in... Did I teach in Japan? Ten years I worked on the grind, man. Ten years I taught... I'm not going to run out of no energy. I'm Leroy King. I never run out of energy. I just eat an onion... And I'm good. That was... Those were hard days. I'll be honest. Ten years of teaching. They can change a man. They can humble him real quick. Okay. Let's go all the way down to this... The watering hole. Actually, you know, I still talk to, like, very few of my students, but really just one that I stayed in touch with. One of the most important students that I ever taught. Uh, I'll be meeting him in a few, maybe a few months, a couple months, and couldn't believe it. He must be, like, 26 or 27 by now. It blows my mind, man, how, how quickly he, he grew up. Oops. I was going to water that. He's Connor's age now that you mention it. I could have been your teacher. Level one farming. Plus one water and camp proficiency. Plus one hoe proficiency. Let me tell you something. Ain't no good goddamn thing to have a hoe proficiency. When I spent all my time at Bazooka's, uh, I had a lot of proficiencies with a lot. Oh, that's a different tool. That's a tool. Oh, damn shit. That's good. Let's go. Uh, new crafting recipe, Scarecrow. New crafting recipe, basic fertilizer. Yay, all that hard work. We got 150 bucks. Woo. <laughs> Greetings, it is I, the queen of this house, here to teach you a new mouth-watering recipe from my secret cookbook. This week's dish is Omelette! Stir fry! It's a perfect way to get some healthy greens onto your plate. Saute the greens in a little sesame oil and make sure to add plenty of fresh ginger and garlic. Now breathe deeply. Ah, that's good. Cool. Oh, God, it's Clint. Jesus. Hey, um... <clears throat> Hi there. Um... Uh, 
Good morning. I haven't slept with the woman. Uh, I mean, I'm, um, do you have any, f oh, God damn it. I noticed that you've been breaking some rocks open and finding ore. That's good. Uh, if you want to get the most out of the ores that you find, you'll need a furnace. It just so happened I had an extra set of blueprints lying around here. I want you to, um, <clears throat> you can have them. The uh, furnace allows you to smell bars, metal ones. The, the bars can be used for crafting, construction, and tool upgrades. <clears throat> well, when you've smelted a few copper bars, consider having me upgrade one of your tools. It can make your work a lot easier. Well, all right, I'm heading home now. No, take it easy now. Yeah, I'll give him the Chris voice. I think we had that last time. I've seen you exploring the old mine, and I've got the adventurous spirit. That much I can tell you. If you can slay Tin Slime, you'll have earned your place in the Adventurous Guild. All right. All right, let's take a look here. What do we got to do today? We got to, uh... Ugh. We're, we're really starting this farm out horribly. <laughs> we had no real... plan. We're not fishing. We're not slutting. We're not growing crops. We're just wasting time, but it's at our pace. And I think that's enough. That is, that is enough for us. Okay. There we go. I'm, I'm feeling good. You know, I think it's cool just hanging out. We had a great day today. We had a banging stream, guys. We started with Helldivers 2, and we played with a bunch of my buddies who I got to finally play with on stream, which was rare. Then the computer or the stream broke at least six or seven times. <laughs> we restarted three of them. And then we got this thing working, and now we're just hanging out. It's been a great day. We get to, and I get to read all the stuff that you guys say. You guys can ask me hard-hitting questions, and I have the time and the, the des ooh, golden eggs. Nice. All right, what's the what's the recipe for a furnace? Budget of us. All right. We need more ore. All right. So let's see here. We need to go. Um, my favorite food in Japan is probably yakitori. That's my goat food. Do we got to go back into the mines, guys? Is that the best use of our time right now? I dare say it is. Well, so the... There's a lot of... I mean, here's the thing about Japanese food is that... If you... There are so many of these little local tiny spots that have like eight seats... And a guy who's been working at the Yakitori Grill, it's his shop. He may have been doing it for 10, 12, 8, 15 years. And what's fun about it is the guy, he's, he's, a, he's a pro. And each one's going to have little variations that make it, that taste really great or a little different. Or this one has the best Nankotsu. This one has the best Negima. And it's really a, a, a beautiful combination of atmosphere and and um, and good good food. So I have a couple of favorites. Connor has taken me to his favorite. Um, I have a new one that I'm gonna try with my buddy Alex because I just met somebody uh, on Monday night who owns a yakitori place, and we're gonna go and we're gonna go have some fun with that. 
Die, bitch! There we go. So it's like, in that regard, it can be, it can be very challenging to say like, where's the best, right? Have a great time with Stardew Valley. I'm praying for a prosperous farm. Don't worry about it. We're not gonna have a prosperous farm. We're gonna have the slowest farm on the planet. But the best part about our farm is that we get to hang out and, and, and be a team. One of the big reasons I wanna visit Japan, the food looks so good. Don't worry about that typo, buddy. I've been there. Don't worry about it. Uh, but I know what you mean. The, uh, the, yeah, the food, I, I, like when people ask me about coming to Japan, I legitimately am not lying when I say that food is the, <laughs> is the, is the best reason to visit. It's my favorite, at least. It's, it's absolutely my favorite, favorite reason. And you could, and I always tell them, you should plan your trip around what foods you want to eat. Like, make that be part of the the major, major, major experience. So you're like, okay, I need to have these 12 different foods. And it's okay to say, like, I want to have uh, sushi that's, like, really good, but I also want to try, like, a conveyor belt sushi or something, like, cheaper or something like that. God, is it amazing. And that's when my friends who have visited have had the best time. Hey, Pete. I've been loving the King roleplay. Do you have a character to roleplay on this game as well? Does it... Let me tell you something. Old King had to run from some of those Balotro, um, situationals. And, uh, he, he found out that his old grandpappy... His grandpappy! Gave him a, a farm to, um, to reside in. And wouldn't you goddamn know it, here I am, Leroy King. What, you got the suspenders? I am the Kansas City farmer now. I wish I had more, um, creativity. I wish I had more, uh, characters to play. I don't know why this one feels so natural to me. Maybe it's because I can tell everyone to shut the fuck up! Leave me alone, goddammit! <laughs> well, but you know, the king, he just comes and goes. Although, I'll tell you what, I was watching old Sea God VA yesterday, and I, I quite enjoyed watching him, uh, give a clergies and a confessionals. And I thought, God damn it, that should have been me. Normally, I don't look at another man's work and say, yeah, I, I should have done that. But I was like, well, shit. I done fucked up. That looked like a lot of goddamn fun, but fuck it. I'm just the king. So yeah, Leroy's still around. How you doing, Weep and Cake? Wee Pancake? Um... Good times, man. Just what a blast. Was there too many poop stories? <laughs> I didn't get to see all of it. I was just I was just hanging out and listening to as much as I possibly could. I do want to get to level Oh shit. It's it's Lewis's birthday today. We better hurry. I'm doing good, man. I, I was sick yesterday, like really annoying. Uh, maybe you could call it a hangover. <laughs> but I, I felt just awful and didn't really have a good day. Today I, I, I slept a little extra, woke up, went to the gym, had a great workout, uh, bicycled, did all the fun stuff. And then I came home, played hell divers with my mates. And then got 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 busy in this game. Feels good, man. Feels good to be back in the streaming chair for sure. All right, hold on. What's this cherry bomb do? Goddamn it, Ron King! That'll do. I blew up the geode. God damn it! <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. That was an accident. How you doing, uh, Armand? Welcome back, dude. Oh, you gifted a sub. Thank you. I got a bone. A femur. <laughs> well, shit, you find buried treasure and it's a goddamn leg bone. 
great. I'm gonna feed that to my goddamn dog. I bet I killed 10 slimes though, didn't I? Jesus Christ. Uh, that was the randomized. Okay, fuck that. We randomized the rewards. Is the femur a weapon? Yep. An old heavy bone caked in centuries of grime. Nice. It's good to take a break from work every now and then. Uh, drinking age is 20 in Japan, whereas opposed to Europe, where it's like seven. <laughs> At least that's what all these friends of mine say. They're always like, yeah, first beer I ever had was nine. And then they're like, even in France, I guess there's like kids wine and it has alcohol in it. So like 1%. Today, I'm just going to relax and think positively. You do you. You're the weirdo who likes the horseradishes. Oh, dude, hey. Hi. Do you have fun working on the farm? What kind of stupid ass question is that? That's like asking, do you have fun going to work? It's manual goddamn labor. I'm busting up calluses open in my hand that I haven't had in 25 years. Of course, yes. Well, that's good. And I'll just... Didn't mean to pop a squat here, but, um... So, uh, well, see ya. Hello. I hope your new farming life is panning out as you'd hoped. Happy birthday. <laughs> now I said, now I said, now hello there, Leroy King. I was just loading some more prizes into this here machine. That looks new. It's a new program I've come up with to help promote the spirit of a good will. I said now, a good will among the towns for you included. It's pretty simple. Sometimes when you help out others in town, you'll receive a, uh, a I said now, you'll receive a prize ticket. You can turn them in for rewards. There's some special stuff in there. My only war is that the people will only just go after the tickets rather than cultivating a true compassion for their fellow man. Look, I'm a gambling man by nature. I'm in it for the prizes. Well, I see. Well, that's not what I'd hoped, and that's not what I'd hoped to hear, but I appreciate the honesty. At any rate, keep checking the help wanted board in the town now. That's a good way to get your hands on a more tickets. Good luck now. I said a good luck out there. <laughs> um, look, I know it's your birthday and, uh... Oh, shit, a tier two sub. Here, have a quartz. Ah, oh, you remembered the old mayor's. Now I said you remembered the old mayor's a birthday. Well, that's a very thoughtful and it's a nicer gift. Thank you for using the tier two, and thank you very much to Hoax Hoaxcrud Medleton. Thank you. Thank you very, very much. Fuck. Uh, thank you guys. Appreciate you. Welcome back. Tonight we are hanging out in the great land of Stardew Valley, one of the best games, in my opinion, legitimately. It is in my top five games of all time. Without a doubt, I think it is one of the best five games ever made. Um, I love it. Shit. I can do that. Whose birthday is it? Whoops. Okay, so the next one is this. This. What's this shit? Now the egg hunt. I forgot about that. What's my top five? So these... I lied. <laughs> Yo, Hesman, thank you for the tier two as well. Uh, thank you, dude. I kind of lied. I mean, I set it up as the truth, but I... <laughs> I have, like, a rotating list of greatest of GOAT games, all right? And basically, I've settled on these as my, my following favorite titles. Uh, 
Uh, Castlevania Symphony of the Night. <sniffs> Castlevania Symphony of the Night. S Ginso Suikoden 2. Stardew Valley. Final Fantasy Tactics. And The Secret of Monkey Island slash Maniac Mansion. That's, that's, but the, the, these, these change a lot. Which, which Belmont is the best? I think Richter. Richter Belmont was always my personal favorite, but they're all cool, man. They're the Belmonts. It's my favorite family bloodline of it. It's like my favorite lore of any game ever. Facebook Pet Society is right behind Mafia Wars. Very close call, but I feel like I made the right decision. Now, the thing about that list is I left off a, a ridiculous amount of incredible titles. Level 2 Foraging, Charcoal Kiln. Chrono Trigger is a great game, but see, I, I, I tried to only limit it to like one per genre. Right? And my favorite RPG ever. And there's, I've played, there's so many good ones that at, at this point, it, it, hold on, living off. Welcome to living off the land. We're back again with another tip for y'all. Now listen up. Let's talk fences. Fences are useful for keeping weeds out, bait, and protecting them your crops. They also let low farmers contain no livestock fences break down after a while. But some old time, the farmers back, back, boom. Um. <laughs> but the problem Hey, what's up, Hesman? Whoa! <laughs> That's very kind of you. I hope old PewDiePie, you know, someday will hopefully cross paths. He seems like an extraordinarily talented individual, and I've heard nothing but amazing things from my friends. And you never know, maybe one of these days he'll check his notification, he'll swing on down here and say, "That's a cool, that's a cool guy." Um, the problem with RPGs, I think, is they become extremely top-heavy. Your favorite could be, I don't know, it could be Ginso Suikoden, Valkyrie Profile, Chrono Trigger, A Link to the Past, if you counted that. Uh, you could also say Lost Odyssey, Final Fantasy, X, Y, or Zs. You could say Star Ocean 2. There's too many great RPGs. I have not met PewDiePie. I, I've, a, a lot of people who I know have, and they've said really, really wonderful things about him. That's the best way I can describe it. You could say Persona, of course. Fantasy Star 4, why not? But I think you guys get what I'm trying to say, right? Like there are, there are just too many titles that are, that are simply incredible. So if yours is, if yours is Chrono Trigger, great. All right, hold on. Let me plan out my day here. Wait. I don't know if I'm going to be there at the same time as PewDiePie, actually, because we might have different, we might have different times. Well, I know I'm not gonna need this goddamn ring for no marriage shit, so maybe I can. S God damn it, I can't even sell the goddamn thing. Oh, well. Um. Oh shit! Thank you guys. This is your captain speaking. All aboard the Hype Train Express. Oh, I need to go to Clint. There is going to be Van Gang streams. We will be back, and we are better than ever. Oh, I didn't know you can sell to the Adventurers Guild. Hold on, guys. Hold! I want to give him, uh... Okay. Okay. Craft a furnace. Okay, wait a minute. 
Green slime. Yeah, the Van Gang video is is a bit behind. There is no debating that one. It is it is known that you guys are eagerly awaiting it. We're gonna finish it soon. Uh oh. The ground quakes. <laughs> Thank you for tossing out that to Biggest Dickus Hesmond. And thank you guys for the incredible hype train. I do appreciate it. Um, oh, now I said, now I said, now, now I said, now hi there. Is the king going to cycle for charity? Or is he just going to show what a real man is to Ian and Paul in the van? I'll be honest, the king's gonna be riding the bike. Yep, he's gonna be riding the bike. He's gonna be getting on there for a couple days and uh, trying to do the best he can. He's also gonna do van gang stream, so it's a bit split. A little bit of biking, a little bit of van ganging, and a whole lot of fun and a great amount of charity. And we're gonna raise a lot of money. It's the only good goddamn thing that the king's ever done. Now, now I said, now I said, now what an eyesore. Thank you for the dollar. This is the Pelican Town Community Center. Oh, oh, now I said what's left of it anyway. I used to be the pride and the joy of the town, always bustling with an activity. Now, just you look at it, it's shameful. These days, the young folk would rather sit in front of a TV than engage with the community. That's us. Oh, listen to me, I sound like an old fool. Georgia Corporation has been hounding me to sell them this land so long to turn it into a warehouse. Pelican Town could never use the money. Now, Pelican Town could use the money, but there's something stopping me from selling it. I guess old timers like me get attached. Now, I say we get attached to the relics of the past. Ah, oh, well. If anyone else buys a Georgia Co. membership, I'm just going to go ahead and sell it. <sighs> also, go on inside now, here. Yeah? Damn, this place is a dump. Now, what in the hell is this? I guess Vincent and Jazz have been playing. Now, they've been playing in here. No, this place is even more dilapidated than I remember. Now, what? What an amazing game. What an amazing game. This is such a charming idea. I love the characters and the graphics in this game are so fucking good. This game is a masterpiece. Now, what's the matter? Are you ill? No, I've done a lot of hardcore drugs in my life and I've had some nasty LSD trips, but I swear to God, some tiny green little slime motherfucker just jumped out of that window there. I saw it. Oh, God damn it. I need to go back to the table. Now, you saw something, huh? Now, I wouldn't be surprised this place was full of rats. Holy shit, there it is again. Mother! Oh. Now, you're worrying me, Leroy King. Look, I think I'm going to head home. I need to eat some lunch. Uh, now, I'll keep this place unlocked from now on. Maybe you can help catch that rat if you have some extra time. Yeah, Stardew had a, a huge update, 1.6. They, uh, they released a new farm. God, allergies. <laughs> God, allergies. Well, it's a bit strange. I'll have to come back here and explore this building further. Yuck. Yuck, yuck, ass, disgusting. Nice shirt, Steve Jobs. <laughs> Quiet, you idiot. It's not a turtleneck. It's just a sweater. <laughs> All right. It's not a turtleneck. Look, you see my neck.
All right, hold on a minute. Ah, shit. <laughs> I didn't know you liked Stardew Valley. This is cool. Uh, I've been waiting for the Switch update while listening to this, keeping up with this. I finally reached true perfection for the first time just days ago before the update. Well, congratulations. That is a, that is a huge dub. Well. Well, that's all we got the room for. <laughs> this game's music is incredible. This game's graphics are incredible. This game's gameplay loop is perfect. I also really liked Graveyard Keeper, even though this one is definitely... You know, a bit. Let's put the geodes down there. There we go. Yeah, I think this game, like I said, it's just so good. There, there is an, I don't know why I brought so much shit here. This was a dumb idea. I'm a moron. I, I'm like, literally, that was stupid. It, 500 hours, may you have another 500 more to go that you just enjoy in perpetuity. What the hell is that? Is that a hat? A dwarvish helm? <laughs> An Earth Crystal? Back to Gunther. The ground quakes. Oh, thank you very much. And welcome 007. May you also enjoy this here stream. Thank you, Hesmond. You're on a mission today, my friend. A mission of mercy. I think that like, thank you so much, dude. If I could ever aspire to do one thing as well as the creator of this game has done in this title, it's the, it's like, that's it. That's how immensely impressive his success is. I love it. I love it so goddamn much. But I know I've been singing its praises for a long time. All right, take my watermelon. They I am the Suica King, after all. Cauliflower seeds in the spring? How much more days do I got? We can still get them out. On a scale of one to pass out, how tired am I? Um, I could probably go for about, like legitimately, I could probably stay awake another 16 hours. If you give me Booze, 18. I'm not going to do that. No. <laughs> you. <laughs> why would you willing me, why would you want me to just hurt myself? Why? For who? For what? Because it's fun. No, it's not. Being miserably tired is not fun. <laughs> Being miserably tired is is a a horrible experience. Happy birthday, Lazuri. What's your big plan for your birthday today? Other than spend it here hanging out with these fine folks. I mean I'm down. Of course I would like to hang out with you guys longer, but let me ask you this. There are some of you who saw my Omega Bobega super streams where I did like the Mario uh, 60, or I'm sorry, um, where I did the Mario RPG and Stardew Val, or fuck. <laughs> Star Ocean 2, right? Which did you guys like more? When I, when I am, Okay, wait, don't answer that. Don't answer that. I don't want your answer to that. Let me rephrase my question. The ground quakes. Yo, thank you very much to happy birthday to you, Lazuri. Razakun, Razzy Boy just tossed you a gift sub. Appreciate that, man. 
what I meant to say was I like doing the best show that I can, which to me, which to me means a lot of energy, a lot of excitement. I'm coming in, I'm feeling good. And it can be, it can be kind of tough when you're absolutely gassed. And I prefer doing a live stream when I'm well rested. That's how I feel. I was very, uh, like for special occasions, I like doing the big shows, right? Like I can, I can still push it to the limit, right? I can still go to the red line and say, we can do this. Um, that's, that's worth it to me, but, uh, just like a random, hey, asshole, stay up until you're exhausted and pass out. No, <laughs> absolutely not. I want to be here tomorrow and I want to be like super excited and ganky as the Japanese say. I think my ADHD does help actually. Um, if you ask my friends, a running gag between all of us as buddies is that I have what they call the infernal engine. I've always, always, always stayed up 85 times longer. I've always had more energy. I've always been a wellspring of just endless, like, I'm just, I'm ready to go. And even it's now, sadly, I, I, father time is undefeated. I'm starting to feel it wane. Like I can feel my body having a little bit more trouble than I used to do. Like when I used to do that stuff. But I, I, I still, I still can really hit it. Yeah, I mean, those days, you know, I think that's what's going to be, that's going to be a little bit harder, Tim, is that when I'm trying to do these, these physical things. But I got a lot of energy. I like it. I want to keep it that way. Age is catching up, brother. Sure is. It was bound to happen. It was bound to finally happen, and here we are. Here the hell we are. It happens. Around quakes. <laughs> you know what's funny is I've seen Twitch and channels before, and uh, they've never been here. They've never they've never visited our our quaint little great community. But maybe they will. <laughs> they should. They should come in here and and. Hang out with us. It's 3 a.m. Shit. It's probably getting close er to sleep time, yeah. Well, I, I still need to do some stuff tonight. Like, I'm not even going to play Rebirth. I, I want to eat dinner. <laughs> Yuki and I were talking about how that's one of the, uh, the more sad things about my new schedule is that I often don't eat until I'm done streaming because I don't like eating on stream. So I'll have, like, a lunch somewhere or do something like that or load up and then I'll just wait until the stream is done and then I'll go to like, you know, quietly sit in the kitchen at three in the morning and eat some cold ass food that's been, that was cooked earlier. I really like our, I really like our farm though. This is a great looking little farm. This is great. Hello at Premier 2 and chat. Hey, buddy. Here is important message for you. Okay. I've got a spade and a pickaxe and a hundred miles square of land to churn about. My old horse is weary, but sincerely I believe that he can pull a plow well. I've moved into the jungle of the agriculture rumble to grow my own food, and I'll dig and plow and scrape the weeds till <laughs> I succeed. Zentrijam.
<laughs> I feel like if anybody can do it, it is you. That's what I feel. I hate farming. I take that back. Everything I just said, I was wrong on my instinct. You are not qualified to do any of that. I think maybe I am the one who should have chosen myself. Nay! Money! All right, give me a second. The blood pumps. The limbs obey. Ugh. No. Kupo's not here. Sorry. Kupo's not here right now. He's not here. All right, let me go to the Oteadai, which means the bathroom. Though personally, let me take a look at let me take a look at the messages. I, oh, Bobby. I got 15 lined up. Uh-huh. Yes. Uh-huh. Yes. Okay. Bathroom and uh You mean to go to bed a day -o. What? What? <laughs> I think you to bed. Dio? You've been watching Henya the Genius, Dio. Or a oh, B-Day. The B-Day. Ha! Pog B-Days in chat. Yeah, I, uh, I'm i not a huge believer in it. You did spell it incorrectly, but that's okay. I would say you have about a 75% misspelling rate, but that doesn't take away. We always know what you're saying most of the time. We'll get there at the end together. That's what makes you really charming, honestly, is that your your messages are like, they're funny, they're interesting, and I get to just cipher them like a little puzzle. It's it's actually quite an endearing uh, quality, so don't worry about it. We got there. I thought you were like saying like, well, there was three different languages in there. There was English, there was a French, and then there was a Dayo at the end. So you're, you're, at, you're trilingualing me. That's a lot. Um, let's, let me check this really quick. Don't break, 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 don't break. Yeah, B Day is French, dude. All right, here's what here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna use the bathroom, and then we're gonna figure out. It it is 3 a.m. I should probably just. And to Honestly, my surprise, I stumbled what, across me, a secret what? sexy club. Huh? Part of me wants to fire up the old card game for one good run, but um, you know, one Balotro run can turn into a goddamn hour. I do want to take a bath, and then after the bath, I want to um, I want to, I want to eat dinner first and take a bath. I'm gonna watch some YouTube or some bullshit on my K tie or my cell phone or whatever the fucking shit my kids have got me. And dinner and sleep. But you can't eat and then go to bed because then you feel fat and disgusted for the whole rest of the night. You eat and then you gotta still stay up for like an hour, which is annoying. Now, I'm not a stinky lizard keck. I don't even know what a lizard keck is. If you call me a lizard keck one more time, uh, I'm, I'm liable to burn this whole shit down. I'm a stinky lizard keck. How long have you been up? Not long enough, honestly. I think I woke up about 13 hours ago, if I'm being honest. Yeah, I'm not pretty, I'm pretty disappointed. Yes, 
Main you best scored. <laughs> hey ladies I score 75% on this spelling. How you like me new? Zenta Smug. Listen son, I appreciate your valor and your willingness to be promiscuous. I don't... <laughs> I would be surprised and shocked and chagrined if anybody replied to you and they got their panties in a twist because of that. That is your claim to fame. However, you want a friend in me. I'm proud of it. <laughs> hey, ladies, I score 75% on misspelling. How you like me new? You are all right. <laughs> I do believe you meant now. Though you could be the new and improved. Um, all right. Let me, uh, I'll see you guys in just a second. Uh, we'll still end it proper. Ooh. Uh. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. Well, dies eventually. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 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 Everyone has a waifu. Get yours for 10% off using promo code PREMIER at checkout. One more. <laughs> if time is a river... Do you have a paddle? Repellers go down faster and with more control. Elusive, evasive, persistent, righteous traits for a merman. A parched throat ever seeking to be sated. Guacamole Game of Fart 9000. Use promo code Premier for 10% off your order at checkout. Very good ads. Oh, God. Buy it. Run. Don't walk. Secure yours today. It's pretty good. 10% off using promo code Prummer. All right. Uh, give me a second. Deuterinos. You know what? I'm going to risk it. If we, it, oh, it worked. Okay. That's close. Um, Great track. All right. Crumbs, lad. Tastes better than hot dog water. <laughs> yes, uh, it does taste better than hot dog water. Maybe not anime girl thigh. I don't really like that one. Um, but I, I think the one I, I drank today was good. It's actually called Good. It's like cherry Kool-Aid. All right, so it is about it is about three in the morning. Anime girl thigh is one of their flavors. I can't claim to like a lot of their naming conventions. <laughs> All right. So, here's the good news. Let's 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 wind down for a minute there. So, we basically today was the Hell Divers Stardew experience. Tomorrow, if I had my own flavor, I have oh, That's funny. <laughs> Don't feed the chat. He's on the road again. Thank you for hauling some gifted subs into this channel, my friend. Arigatou gozaimasu. 
tomorrow night or day, depending on when I get back from the gym, the gym, I will fire up the video Juegos. That could be Stardew Valley 1.6, continue our farm. I would like to get it into like, you know, like a week. Then maybe some hell divers. Maybe I can contact Mouse or Connor, somebody, you know, just let them know. Hey, guy, maybe run it back with uh, the boys. I don't know. They're pretty busy, though. But we had a great time today with Rob and Alex and Ken. Um, and then Friday, f maybe Nathan, maybe. I can't understand what he's saying, though, when he's communicating with me. On Friday, we will hopefully be playing Dragon's Dogma. Maybe. If it's out, I'm going to grab it on the PC. And that'll be fun. Saturday, IRL stream. Earl stream. We're going to be going with Ian Rudd and Paul Ballard, cameraman Paul and uh, the, the Van Gang. We're going to take you guys into a share house in central Tokyo, and we're going to show you the cutting edge badass styles of what a, a share house is in modern Japan, and we're going to be kind of showing you some BTS, some BTS, BTS, BTS. As we build, or as we, we're going to record an official video for that company, they have hired us three: me as the host, Ian as the showrunner, and Paul as the cameraman. And we're going to like, we're going to show you. Or hopefully, it's going to be a great video. So it'll be equal parts BTS, and it'll be equal parts uh, hanging out. And then maybe after that, we can. That's on Saturday at around. 10, 10 30 a.m. in the morning. So it'd be about seven hours from right now. We're gonna see how the sausage is made. And um maybe after we finish filming, maybe we'll go to grab a beer or something, or or I don't know yet. Maybe. So that's gonna be an Earl stream plus an official video. Kind of cool. Might be some break the streams. Not DGN. I'm trying to cut out, although I just got pretty twisted on Monday night. But, you know, trying to be a little bit more sensible. <sighs> trying to uh, get rid of this guy. But I think we've, I think I've lost a little bit of weight. Don't you guys think so? I mean, come on. No. Okay, you're right. Not yet. Uh, not yet. But I think my face is thinned out a little bit. First the legs, then the face, and finally the tum-tum. That's how it works for men. For girls, it's different. It's usually the, the thighs and butt that goes last. Well, Rob's very kind, though. Honestly, I feel so much better now that I've been working out. It feels good. I like having my... I've had like 50-some straight days of uh, of closing my active rings. And I feel... I feel... Makes me feel good. I feel relaxed. You know? Need to go to the dentist. That's not going to be fun. All right. I did go to the bathroom. So, looks like we're all just about done here. I'm going to go. I'm going to go to the uh, eat. Yuki made some lasagna and some kind of like stir fried noodles. That looks pretty good. Chat. You know on what you should risk it. On Sakura Snacktastic. Sweets for every month may subscribing new. Yes right new. And ho oh, know what Japan's great sweets you will get. And order sweet sweet gamersubs.gg by using code PREMIER. To yes. whole sweet month every month. 
Don't miss out making your life bit more enjoyable just like Premier 2. Yes. This commercial was delivered to you by Corpo Gecko. <laughs> that was brought to you by Corpo Gecko. But <laughs> I think we can all get behind what they were trying to say, which is use promo code Premier at Gamer Subs. That to me seems like the general idea of what they were trying to to share <laughs> uh, at least that's what i think could have been calling me a bay which is the closest i can get to a bay blade don't forget to sign up for PremierCon. that's true join the discord have some fun ladies and gentlemen let's go say hi to one of the most degenerate people on the entire platform his name's Nate Exon. We're not proud of it, but we're going to make it work. Where's our premier woo I lost it. There it is. Nathan is a Welshman. He's also a moderator when he decides to show up some of the time, which is nearly never. Uh, I misspelled full, which is unfortunate. I couldn't see my keyboard. I fucked up. I screwed it up. I'm an idiot. I'm stupid. I'm dumb. But I can tell you one thing. At least the stream's not going to... Break? Not yet. Not yet. You thought it was. Thank you to everyone who followed. Thank you to everyone who subscribed. Thank you to everybody who threw in a bit or a joke or lurked or followed or did stuff. Thank you to the moderators. Hey, guess what? We had over 100 new followers today and 100 new subscribers and a lot of fun. And I will see you guys. <laughs> I got you again. <laughs>